Was the audience member actually Chris Harper in a Scooby-Doo style disguise? And does that person in fact pay Pat to the Pope's salary? <laughs> Theatre history, my friends. Theatre history. Hi friends, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. On the 10th of May 2022, theatre history both repeated itself and was made. Is it too late to still be talking about this? Are people still talking about this? I don't know, I feel like I've not really seen that much on it since like the day after, but here I am. I love having a bit of a theatre chat about what's going on and something big happened. So yeah, on the 10th of May, Patti Lapone shouted at an audience member. You may remember back on the 10th of January in 2009, Patti Lapone was at the St. James Theatre where she was playing Mama Rose in a production of Gypsy and she stopped the performance. She was literally in the middle of performing Rose's turn, stopped the song, stopped the show and shouted at somebody in the audience for taking photos. They'd taken three photos with flash on that had distracted her and made her nearly trip over during the show. So she shouted at the audience member to stop taking photos, kick them out and restarted the song. Somebody in the audience was recording an audio boot like that day so it's been re-listened to and played thousands of times and discussed at length in the last 13 years. So Patty is currently starring as Joanne in company at the Jacobs Theatre on Broadway and on the 10th of May there was a talk back after the show which is kind of like a Q&A with the cast and creative team after a performance on Broadway. It doesn't happen all the time, every now and again. This one was being recorded for the American Theatre Wing's Working in Theatre series, which by the way, side note, if you haven't watched those videos, you have to. They're on YouTube, they're amazing. I used to be obsessed with them. They're so well made, so interesting. The CEO of American Theatre Wing, Heather Hitchin, was the like interviewer and then she was basically asking questions for the principal female cast of company. So that included Katrina Lenk, Jen Simard, Nikki Renee Daniels and Rashidra Scott, then Marianne Elliott who was the director and also of course Patti Lapone. Now I want to say I got a lot of the information from this video from Joshua Kilmnick on TikTok who is one of my favourite creators over there. He's an actor and a theatre content creator. He's honestly amazing. I'll leave a link to his his channel down below and he was actually there that night so talked about his experience on TikTok the next day but he was there on this hallowed evening that will go down in theatre history. He was as you could say in the room where it happened he was side by side by side with other people who lived through this moment in theatre history but somebody in the audience did also happen to record the whole thing so we can see for ourselves a little bit what happened I'll leave a link to it down below. So in Joshua's TikTok he was explaining about the evening basically like after the show it was a talk back Patti Lapone came in with cocktails and was eating Cheez-Its and like fun little bits like that he said that the interview just wasn't going very well apparently things like asking really roundabout questions kind of giving a slide dig to Katrina for not getting nominated for a Tony and then not asking any questions to Rashidra or Nikki the interviewer also brought up Roe versus Wade which if you don't know is all all around the abortion laws in the US. Obviously Patti Lapone is very vocal about her political standing, she's very passionate about politics and to bring up something like that it just was never going to go down well with Patti Lapone. and also it just seems like a very heavy thing to bring up in a theatre talk back so it just wasn't going so well anyway but then apparently about halfway through the talk back Patti Lapone noticed somebody in the third row of the stalls or the orchestra as it's known on Broadway. They had their mask on. So it's mandated when you see a Broadway show to wear a mask. They don't seem to have exemptions like they did in London, but basically somebody had their mask on, but rather than covering their nose, they had it under their nose like this. So Patti Lapone was like, mask, bring your mask up. In response to that, they put their mask like this over their face, making a joke about it. Patti Lapone like pointed at them and said, this isn't a joke, put your mask on properly. And also to the person next to them, also their mask was below their nose, she said, put your mask up. Just like, let's stop this, put your mask up. Not over the top or anything, the audience clapped a little bit. Obviously they had kind of mocked her a little bit by putting their mask over their eyes, but she was like, okay, let's just go back to the interview. A little while later, she notices that again, their mask is below their nose. So Patti Lapone is basically trying 
trying to get the attention of the COVID safety officers that are there in the theater, trying to signal this person isn't wearing their mask properly. She's saying, COVID person, mask. COVID person, mask. The COVID people apparently were struggling to find the person with a mask on. It was this whole thing. They managed to find them, tell them, put the mask back on. That was two times they had to be told. Obviously they get various reminders throughout, you know, when they're going into the theater and the interval and stuff. And then the final question, everybody on the panel was basically like, what's it like being back on Broadway? Are you having a good time and everything? And Heather said to Patty, oh, it's so nice to, have you back on Broadway. We loved your basement series during lockdown, but it's so good to have you back on Broadway. And Patty LePone was like, thank you. But let me just address this. And then spoke to the person with their mask, which again had fallen down. So Patty says, put your mask on properly. This isn't a joke. The person then says, where's your mask? The room apparently goes silent. <laughs> Can you even imagine shouting back at Patti LuPone? I just cannot, I, ca I cannot. She then says, if you want me to put on a mask, I will. Did you see me wearing a mask in the show? Obviously not. But if you want me to wear a mask now, I will. And then she says the iconic, who do you think you are? <laughs> theatre history, my friends. Theatre history. Theatre history. She's basically saying like, who do you think you are? You come into the theatre, you agree to the rules that we wear masks in the theatre now. If you don't want to agree to those rules, don't come and see the show. Patty's saying things like, you wear your mask to keep me and the people around you safe. That's the whole idea of this. The person in the audience then says, I pay your salary. Girl! <laughs> Patty's like, you pay my salary? Bullshit. Chris Harper pays my salary. The producer of company. The audience is cheering. Audience member without their mask on is shouting. Patty's shouting. Patty says, who do you think you are again? The audience member says, your patron. Ooh! Patty says, just put your mask on. Like, it doesn't have to be this difficult. Just put your mask on. The audience member is shouting back and talking over her. Heather Hitchin, who's the interviewer, is shouting over her. Patty says, this is bullshit. She stands up, takes her cocktail, takes her cheese its and walks off the stage. Some people were like standing up and cheering. There was apparently like a very awkward tension in the room. So Patty's left the stage, Heather Hitchin is basically trying to like claw this interview back, trying to like unpack what just happened. Patty Lapone's mic is still live, so she's backstage and she's going, This is bullshit, this is bullshit. Oh! Honestly, what I would have paid to have been in that room. Joshua, I am eternally jealous. Eternally jealous. And then Heather Hitchin basically talks for a little bit about, you know, theatre's been closed for two years, these people have been out of work, Broadway's been closed, and it's been a hard time, and then the interview ended. Somebody then released a small clip of the interaction and put it on Twitter, and the debate began. Is Patti Lapone just being a diva? Is she a hypocrite for telling someone to wear a mask when not wearing a mask herself? Was the audience member actually Chris Harper in a Scooby-Doo? style disguise and does that person in fact pay Patti LuPone's salary? Well, firstly, an answer to the last one, no. That person was not Chris Harper because he actually released a statement where he said, over the course of her storied career, Patti has always had an unshakable bond with the audience and she takes their role as seriously as her own, which I think is a really important thing to pick up on. She takes the audience's part of a show as importantly as she takes her own. She's also a fear advocate for the entire theatrical workforce we stand with Patty and support her efforts to keep our entire community, from patrons to ushers, cast to stage crew, safe and healthy so we can keep Broadway open. And I have to say, how well worded. Totally agree. The thing is, this is obviously not the first time that Patti LuPone has shouted at an audience member. She has a reputation for being very hot-headed, but to be honest, I completely agree with her on this. The theatre world has been completely torn apart through the pandemic and it's still building itself up. Broadway has lost countless shows due to COVID and the ones that are still around have been struggling massively. There's performers who we've lost to COVID, you know, Nick Cordero, for example. We've literally lost Broadway actors who have died because of COVID. It's a serious thing and, you know, the community isn't gonna forget that very quickly, I don't believe. It is very interesting watching this whole thing from the UK where masks aren't mandated anywhere in the UK now. 
so not in theatres, not anywhere, not on public transport or anything. So it's very interesting to watch this from our side. But do you know what? Like, that's the rule that they have at the moment. And if you want to go into a theatre, you're basically agreeing to that rule, so you should stick to it. The state of theatre is no laughing matter. She did ask the person politely twice before it got to what it did. And what do you expect when this person then shouts back at her? What do you expect her to do? People saying, oh, she's shouting at someone for not wearing a mask while not wearing a mask. I have to say is one of the most ridiculously stupid arguments ever because she's just performed for like two and a half hours without a mask on. So why would she put one on now? Obviously the cast and crew are rigorously tested before they go into the theatre. And I'm sure that when she leaves the theatre and when she goes about anywhere else, she's wearing a mask, but she's still working, she's still on the stage. There's really no difference between her doing that interview and her doing a full performance, belting her face off, you know? So that whole argument of like, she's such a hypocrite is just stupid and I can't even dignify it. The one thing I just have to know is, are the American Theatre Wing going to publish this video? What do we think? Will, I do, I'd love to know what their usual turnaround time is from like filming a video to getting it up on their channel. Are they gonna scrap the whole video? Are they gonna keep it in but cut out the shouting? Are they going to include it all? I'm fascinated, I have to know. I tried to look if they like said a statement on it, I can't seem to find one, but I think it's just fascinating. This is a moment of like theatre history, theatre folklore that we will think about and talk about for years to come I'm sure. Please let me know your thoughts, I would love to know what you think, very interested. I don't really want to get into like an argument about Covid in the comments, so if that's what you're here for, I'm not so anyway. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.